once again guys, you're watching High Voltage Mayhem, and today I have an interesting video for you. As you can see, we're aboard the USS Stewart D-238, and today we'll be looking at one of the small emergency ship service generators. It's a Cleveland Model 3-268A, so it's a small little engine, but we'll be taking a look and see if we can't get it running for the first time since probably 1945. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go down to that engine room where the generator is located and take a look at it for the first time so you can get my initial reaction on camera. Since I haven't looked at any of this equipment yet, we'll see how it is. So let's go explore together. Alright guys, so we will make our way down to the engine room through the passageway. And there it is, the B1 engine room. And I will meet you guys when we get down there. Alright, so here we are in the B1 engine room. So I'll just pan the camera around to give you an idea of what it looks like. We have some massive big old Fairbanks drive engines right here. And so what we'll be looking at is a little ship service generator. Emergency generator. It'll be right down here. There it is. So as you can see, that's a little Cleveland three-cylinder diesel. It's not a bad looking motor. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it down there. I don't think this thing has been touched since the ship was decommissioned, so this will be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way down the ladder, and I will meet you down there by the engine. Alright, so I'm going to squeeze behind these two big fair banks. As you can see, they put all the gauges and stuff right here next to the engine. Hot and noisy. But this is what I'm interested in today, is this little tiny generator. So it's an emergency ship service diesel. Doesn't look too bad. Got your air intake and all that right here. Of course, I need to make uh, some sort of a filter. Oh, it's got a... Looks like it's got a screen on there. As you can see right up in here, there's some sort of a screen, but I want something a little bit better than that. So I'll make some modifications. Looks like we got a blower right here. And let's see what cooling water and stuff around here. Let's take a look back here. I'm sorry the lighting's not too good. I haven't gotten the lights working down this engine room yet, but as you can see, here's the RPM and all the different pressures and things right here. So we got a Marque Governor. I think that's how you pronounce it. The labeling's gone, you can't read it, but that's the governor anyways. It's still got a tag on there, that's nice. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're missing too much right here. There's the other end of the generator. So the hard part's gonna be finding fresh water and fuel in here. So we got some thermometers. Got another thermometer right here. It's got cardboard taped on it, so that's good. That'll protect it. Now there's a filter right there. Usually you can, mm, so you can kind of turn it, clean it, right there. Then it looks like we have water, something to do with water. Except that almost looks like fire main. It doesn't look like uh, cooling water. It's got a cap on it right there. Hmm. It's interesting. Still got some green tags left on there. So yeah, all in all, this engine really doesn't look that bad. Of course, we'll have to check all the oil stuff down there and hmm, generator cables need to test all that make sure it's all good so yeah let's take a look inside the uh, valves or inside the valve covers and everything and see what we got under there okay so here we are inside the valve covers and as you can see the rollers and everything don't look bad at all still nice and uh, smooth anyways still got oil of course, all of our seals are gone. Right here, our rubber O-rings all need to be replaced. Uh, all the cork gaskets gone. I have to replace all that. I need to pop these covers off. Look in there. And I see that we got our fuel in return. Same. Uh-oh. Is that a valve? Looks like we're missing some stuff. Yeah, first thing I know is we're missing the plates right here on top. Okay. Somebody trashed this one too. That'll be interesting. Let's see what else we got. Okay, these are our pyrometer cables. I'm sure this engine had a pyrometer because I found the brown pyrometer around the corner right there. So I bet you right here, since it's three cylinders and there's three cables, that ought to be our pyrometer. So I can obviously hook that back up easy. There's one of them right there. Where's the rest? missing stuff nevertheless we'll take a look inside of here you can see that there's okay there's one hopefully there's another yep we're in good company we got our two looks like valve stuff the injector is still there so that's good and wow we're in really good shape we got fuel and return lines and 
course there's no light for you guys to see but there's a bunch of nuts and bolts down there and there's that little metal plate that goes right here on top and holds all the stuff down so i bet you this whole rack uh stuff up here can just pop right off and we can put all the stuff back in there easy so at least only one cylinder is trashed on this one the other generator in the next engine room is totally just gutted but other than that this in, this engine's actually looking in really good shape already so there you are, you have a first look at what's inside of here and what needs to be done. I'll obviously be gutting all this out and uh, putting new parts. And if I need new parts, I'll go refer to the other generator that's trashed on this ship and use it. So the main thing is I want to get fuel and water. Make sure that we're all good. Let's see, yellow. I wonder if that's fuel. Goes up and through there. I bet you there's a little round tank somewhere. Hmm. These ships are really interesting, tracking everything down. It's like, okay, it goes here and there, and I'll find it one of these days. Of course, there's low oil pressure alarms and things over there, so we're heading the right way. We'll just have to keep our eyes peeled for a round tank and, uh, looks like lube oil tanks up there. But nevertheless, you guys get a good view of this little engine, and I do want to get it running here pretty soon. So as you guys saw, just basic little maintenance on stuff like this. Just repair all the valves and everything that needs fixed up there. Of course, we'll take it all apart, set the injectors when we get running and all that, but that all comes later. But like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on down here in the ship. And of course, this is a part one video, so we got a lot to do in the meantime. But yeah, nice little engine. All right, so last but not least, I was going to give you guys a tour of the upper decks in this engine room real quick while I'm here. So you can see this was a lube oil service tank that we were looking at. So this is lube oil storage tank number one. Okay. In fact, we have some more electrical equipment all tagged out. Fire extinguishers and some other stuff, heaters. Oh, I bet you that's ventilation control in here. Hmm. We might have to take a look at that one day. Don't want to blow the asbestos all over everywhere in here, so I think I'll leave that alone until I trace the electrical. Looks like we got an air compressor. Or yeah, what's left of one anyways? Man. There's a starter for it. So let's see if the camera will focus here. We'll walk around some more. There you go. Do you see the big air intakes on these big Fairbanks? Camera has a hard time focusing in these compartments. But yeah, there's our little generator down there we'll be taking a look at. And hopefully we'll get it running here pretty soon. But like I said, this is a one video because this takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and again I'm on a ship down here in Galveston and I live very far away from here so uh, I'll try my best to get this going soon looks like we got a little tank okay water water tank maybe fuel I don't know that would be a nice fuel tank though but hmm we'll have to see what we can do about this because I definitely want to see that engine run soon so let's go back to some of the electrical rooms and I will see you guys there well, there you have it guys. That was kind of a tour of the B1 engine room and you can see the little generator. It wasn't in very good shape. It's been kind of trashed, but other than that, I think we can get it running. So here in the future videos, I'll certainly be back on this ship getting all this equipment running again, trying to at least. So hopefully we'll see that little engine run soon. So in the meantime, you're watching High Voltage Mayhem and I'll see you in the next video.